You're tuned in to Ask the Master Auto Technician. Car questions? Get answers right now. Call 850-763-0555. James Auto Center. We fix it right. Guaranteed. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. All right, welcome back everybody. This is our second part of our Thursday morning show. I have Brian Armstead, and I don't know where he's calling from, but he goes all over the world. I mean, literally all over the world. He's got passports that are wore out from so many stamps on him where he's gone to Europe, to Asia, all over the place. And he test drives and writes reviews on cars from all over the world. And right now, I think Brian is calling about a 2018 Toyota Camry? Is that what you're calling from it? Ex from Exotic Maryland. Oh, wow. Tell me about Exotic Maryland's Camry up there. I want to know about well, this. Well, Exotic Maryland, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a terrible day, actually, mm. for me here today because okay. I came home last night and I uh, walked in the house from the garage and my house was warm. <laughs> uh oh, air conditioning died? Yeah, so oh, no. today, is, today is air conditioning day. But mm. um, you won't have such a problem in the 2018 Camry because it's got a got a really powerful air conditioner, James. <laughs> <laughs> Toyotas are known for their air conditioning. They really are. They have I tell you, they're known for air conditioning. But unfortunately, the Camrys were also known as vehicles that were incredibly reliable, incredibly dependable, but also incredibly boring to drive. <laughs> well, well, okay. That was then. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, let's, let's, let's call it spade a spade. That is, okay. That was, that was then. And that's just now. I mean, think about the Camry. It's been the top-selling car for Gee, almost wow. as long, top-selling sedan for as, almost as long as the Ford F-150. I mean, the thing's been in the number one position ever since Ford with the Taurus decided to go to the um, kind of oval shape on the uh, 1999 with the Taurus. Mm -hmm. And the Taurus Accord, I mean, Camry used to always um, buy for sell supremacy every year. Mm -hmm. But then when Ford came out with that oval design with the Taurus in 1989, they fell off the charts and haven't recovered. Ah. And the Honda Civic is a nice car in it, but it just never has quite caught up to the uh, to the Toyota Camry. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you have other competition out there. You've got the uh, Hyundai Sonata. You've got you know the Ford Fusion. There, there's a lot of stuff out there, but nobody seems to sell as many cars as the Camry. But that's also, a, that's a good and a bad thing. The good thing is, is that it sells well. True. The bad thing is that it's down almost 40,000 compared to the year, year before. Last year, Toyota sold almost 400,000 Camrys. Wow. Sales are off by almost 40,000. That's for a lot. That's a lot. Why is, but why is that? We need to ask ourselves a question. Okay. The answer is, is that Americans have a love affair for tall wagons, SUVs. Ah, yes, we do. We love things that you know, suck gas. <laughs> we love things that stand off the ground and, and make us feel like we're driving a truck. True, true, true. You can throw a bike in the back, yeah. even if you don't have a bike. Most people don't even have an active lifestyle. They still want that truck. They, they think do. it's a truck because it's tall. Mm -hmm. And even though, you know, half of these, car, half of these uh, SUVs are built on the chassis of an automobile, you know, like the Toyota uh, RAV4, for example. Right, it's built right. from the same architecture as the new Camry. Right. People still desire to have that, that truck feeling. I, I, so Toyota, it's a bold stroke for them to come out with a new sedan now. Now, they need to because the uh, the 2016 model, while very, very nice 2017 model, mm -hmm. while uh, outstanding because I have one outside, uh, it's it's just not the same as the 2018 model. Um, you know, Toyota started a ground up kind of sheet, clean sheet, mm. uh, with the, with this new car. So tell me now, about the it. first. Yeah. It's the first full application for Toyota of their new global architecture platform TNGA, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and they can share this platform amongst different models. You'll find this platform. You know, on on a lot of different uh, Toyotas, and I'm I'm sorry we have a jackhammer in the background. That's right. We can't hardly hear it. You can barely hear. <laughs> barely it. Barely hear. It. That's all right. Your sound. Okay, good. great. Uh, it's driving me crazy. Let me let me close the window real quick here. Hold <laughs> that's, on. One that's second. one of the advantages of living in a big city. You know, and, you know, you have I'm a sitting in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm in, I'm in the, the oven. oven, so you know. <laughs> no, they're repairing. This, they're repairing all the sidewalks in the neighborhood. Yeah, it's it's, summer, um, it's summertime up north. That's when you repair the sidewalks and streets and the potholes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it in winter time. It's, everything's frozen. Can't do it in winter. That's true. Yep. So, take for example the uh, the engines. 
Mm-hmm. You can get uh, a V6, oh, okay. I mean a four-cylinder, mm-hmm. or you can get a V6 down there. that outputs over 300 horsepower. I mean, Ooh. 300 horsepower in a Camry, think about it. That's <laughs> up from 268 and with a V6 from last year's model. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the thing just rockets. I mean, this it's, is the yeah. XSE we're talking about here. XSE. Now, Camry, they want to keep their traditional Camry buyers the people that like the kind of pillow soft, mm-hmm. you know, architecture, the, the soft ride. So they have the L and the LE models mm-hmm. for um, right. for those who just want the base one. Now, uh, or any XLE. Now, if you want to, if you want to go out and you want to kick some butt on the road, you want to have fun driving your Camry. Then the SE and the one I drove all, all mm-hmm. during the press launch, the XSE are the models for you. Mm-hmm. They have a sportier intention. They have that three, uh, you can get that 301 horsepower V6. And the new Camry also sits lower than the old Camry, mm-hmm. and it's wider than the old Camry. Mm-hmm. Now, check this out, James. The new Camry also has an independent rear suspension for the first time in its history. Really? This is, what does that mean I, for I, folks out there? An independent rear suspension means that the car can articulate better over rough surfaces in a turn, it can handle better because you can put specific architecture at each wheel to control rebound and, and jounce and all mm-hmm. kinds of parameters there. The computers that control the suspension can, uh, do if, 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 if in fact you have a computer-activated suspension, mm-hmm. can control the suspension better. But for the most part, it gives it more of a livelier feel on the road. Mm-hmm. The car drives like, like a... You know, a Toyota sports car as opposed yeah. to a Toyota sedan. What, what maybe a Toyota, but it, does it handle like maybe the older model MR2 Toyotas as far as being, you know? Well, uh, you know, I don't want to say it handles like an MR2 because the MR2 was a pocket rocket. Yeah, I it mean, was. that was like a slot. It was <laughs> like a slot car. It was. But uh, suffice to say that the new Camry will not put you to sleep okay. like, um, like you know, most of the uh, Toyota products that have been, that have come through over the years. Yeah, like my Prius. Now, the, <laughs> My Prius yeah, is no, the same, no, no, but even they have a they even have a Prius model that's yeah. really, you know, a lot of a lot of fun to drive. I can't remember exactly which one it was. I believe it's the uh, Prius C. I remember you talked about I that earlier a, this year. You talked yeah, about I had a Prius. chance to drive one out yeah. on an old Air Force Base uh, runway. Mm-hmm. I got to tell you, man, that car was a <laughs> lot of fun to drive. It just really handled well. It had great performance and acceleration. Well, Camry and Lexus are going in that direction, James. That's what it sounds like it sounds if like you think of. It. If you think of Lexus when they first came out, great cars, man, mm-hmm. super reliable, 300,000 miles mm-hmm. out of them. But God almighty, wake me up. You know, somebody stick a needle in me, <laughs> give me a boost of adrenaline, you know? Yeah, they're kind Same of boring, but they, were, but they were dependable. They were, uh, yeah. uh, you know, but now, comfortable. Now ride. Toyota has finally figured out that they have to buy, they have to sell cars that people want to drive. That's true. If you're going to drive a car, it means you like sedans. Give me a driving experience, James. Yeah, you're you're, you're right. They finally have yeah. done. They finally have done that with the uh, with the 2018 Toyota Camry. Now, now check this out. Mm-hmm. The 2018 Camry comes in at just twenty four thousand dollars, twenty four three eighty for the base model, and the you know a nicely equipped XSE. Say that three times fast. <laughs> I can't even say it's it a, once. It's about. Uh, <laughs> It's about thirty-six thousand okay. dollars. Now I'm looking at the uh, Monroni for my 2017 XSE, but with a couple of options, it's also about thirty. It's thirty-five thousand one hundred dollars. Uh huh. So they haven't jacked up the price. No, they haven't. No. Although, mm-hmm. although the Camry, the 2018 model, has far more technology than the 2017 model. It's a lot cooler inside. It's got all kinds of great stitching. It's got a cool curvilinear dashboard, a center console rather. Mm. The center console starts from the driver's steering wheel and curls under the uh, the uh, you know the touch screen mm-hmm. for audio and, and, and cooling and all that. Mm-hmm. And it curls under uh, over to the driver to the passenger side. It's like um it's almost like a boomerang looking kind of uh, effect mm. from one side of the dashboard to another. And it's a real, real cool effect. You know, they've got wood inside if you want it. They've wow. got aluminum trim if you want it. Leather, Alcantara. Folks, you, know, you can get a whole lot of different things here. You can get the car with paddle shifters if, uh, if you get the V6. I mean, it's just taking it upscale. Now, the hottest thing at the press launch mm-hmm. 
was the white Camry with a blackout roof package. Mm-hmm. When I say blackout roof, yeah. the blackout runs from the A pillar all the way back to the deep uh, to the C pillar on the car, mm-hmm. and down about three quarters of a way or a quarter of the way down the uh, C pillar. Mm-hmm. And it made it look like it had a panoramic sunroof, but it was more because it's all the um, parts of the C-pillar. You know, a quarter of the C-pillar was also blacked up. Mm-hmm. This car also had optional red leather seating, Ooh. and everybody went bananas over these red leather seats. <laughs> they're just, it's they're sounds, gorgeous. It sounds they're supportive. Like it. Yeah. You know, you had a red leather armrest, you had red leather console mm-hmm. um, on the side, the door panels, red leather. I mean, you walk, look inside, you're like, wow, that's, that's hot. That's a Camry? you got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. And everywhere we went, people were like, that's a Camry? You've got to be kidding. It must be completely uh, design change because people recognize, you know, they look at the Camry and they yawn, but, you know, they know it's a dependable car. It's the most stolen car, I think, out there on the market. used to be. No, 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 no. It's, it's never been on the most stolen. Uh, that was always the Honda Accord. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. All those, the Honda <laughs> products were stolen because of the seats. Ah. All the, uh, all the, all the hot routers that, you know, uh, Tune up the uh, Japanese mm-hmm. cars. Always prefer the seats out of Civics, uh, you know, for whatever reason. So no, it, the the Camry was never on ah, the most stolen list. Good, I'm glad to hear. I thought it was. I know so many people bought it. I just know. I remember Honda or, or t- Toyota, but that's good to know. But a lot of people buy them. You said, but there was forty thousand of them sold last year, and maybe this is why they're rechanging. No, 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 forty forty thousand. Fewer sold yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Forty thousand fewer sold Camrys last year. Maybe this is why Toyota decided they needed to have a revamping of the Camry. You know. Well, I mean, you know, you don't you don't make an easy reaction and say because uh, first of all, you can't put a car together in one year. True, you really. Can. So, I mean, I'm sure they saw this coming. You know, mm-hmm. they they the Camry is a bread and butter vehicle as well, mm-hmm. just like the Rav Four, just like you know the all the other vehicles that they sell, Corolla and mm-hmm. the Prius and all that. But this is, you know, this has been the sales leader. So yeah. they wanted to remain king. The car has beautiful styling. It's got that big Lexus type air intake on the front now. Good. You can get a hybrid model with this car that gets tremendous miles per gallon. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know, I never would believe that I would say that the Camry is, it could be the best sedan buy out there. You know, particularly when you have the offerings from Kia and mm-hmm. Hyundai, and they're all fully contented, and they all come with that 100,000 mile warranty. You know, Ford has made uh, great strides with the Fusion. I mean, there's some good stuff on the market now, James. Well, we got 45 but seconds left on this, so go ahead and. I, I would just encourage. I would just encourage folks to to check out the 2018 Camry. Mm-hmm. If you don't need all that new tech, if you don't need independent rear suspension, then the 2017 models are going to be going for a song because nobody's going to buy one with this new 2018. Ooh. Because it's, it's that much better. Wow. Now that, if, you want a, that's, if you want a really great deal, get a 2017. If you want a better car, then the 2018 Toyota Camry is for you. ToyotaUSA.com for more details. Sounds like a great, I mean, sounds like a car that, for the price, you can't be beat. Uh, it, it sounds like. Toyota.com. Toyota.com. Sorry, anyway, Toyota, it sounds yeah. wonderful. Because I know back in 2004, 2005, a Prius was going for $30,000, and that was 12 years ago. So, uh, you know, what you're selling this Camry for is a pretty impressive price you know, considering inflation over the last 12 years. But that's. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, great deal. It sounds like. Quite exhaust on the V6. I forgot to tell you about that. Quiet exhaust. <laughs> I probably got one of those electronic no, no. exhausts on it. No, no, no. Quad. 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 Oh, Four quad. Pipes. Okay. My, my. Four pipes coming out the rear on a Camry. Woo! Get over that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a hot rod. All right. Will you be good? We'll talk to you next Thank week. You. I'll put this on the market. Talk to you later then. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. James Auto Center. We fix it right. Guaranteed.